Mode set. Executing. What's up gamers, it's your boy CDROM 1019 welcome back to 007 Nightfire. Four missions left in this game, time for another driving mission, but this one's a little different because we'll be driving in the water. So, it's Deep Descent, let's reach Drake's private island, undetected. You did well at Drake's training facility, 007. We agree that the rockets to launch these astronauts into space are most likely harbored at Drake's missile disassembly works in the South Pacific. Although UN inspectors have given the island their seal of approval, perhaps your unofficial visit will reveal more. Agent McCall will provide backup. The Vanquish should provide the most discreet approach to Drake's Island. Agent McCall, if you please. We're driving now? Precisely. <laughs> Double O Seven, you need to infiltrate Drake's Island undetected. Look for an entry point and stay clear of patrols. Okay, so we're taking the V Twelve Vanquish underwater because it's got an amphibious mode. We're gonna have to stay clear of patrols. This games? might take me a few we'll attempts because I don't quite remember exactly the ins and outs of this mission. We need to go into this boat. I remember that much. Don't let them spot us. Sever their communications network, 007. That will allow you to engage the enemy without raising a general alarm. I believe that means I need to go through here. Your remote torpedoes aren't as powerful, 007, but they'll allow you to eliminate hard-to-reach targets. Alright, so that's a hint. Let me switch to the remote torpedo and fire one through here. <laughs> And that severed the comm tower. Okay. So, the they can't call ahead anymore if they spot us. So now we can go through here, get spotted all we want, we can take them down. Really, 007, just once I'd like to get a vehicle back in one piece. Oh, whatever. Avoid those sensors, 007, and try the V-12 Vanquish's remote control torpedoes. Okay, right. So, I can still use the... I forgot I can use the remote torpedoes through these sensors, too. There we go. Now I can go through here. Better keep your distance, James. Those mines look nasty. Yes, these mines are not pleasant. And they're a little... They're a little unpredictable with their movement, too. So I have to be a little careful about how I how I move around them. Okay. Oh, more to go. A bit more here. Okay, another sensor gate. Let's get a little closer to it and use this remote torpedo. Got There we go. Don't want to hit the mines with the remote torpedo either. It's just as bad. Whoa. Uh Oh, where was I going? I think I need to go down. Yikes. Alright, hold up. I think I got turned around here. Ah! Set off a mine. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's see if I can do this part without getting lost this time. Take it easy. Oh, I think I need to go up. I need to go up. That's why. Um, uh, 
worst fears are confirmed. Drake's been stockpiling nuclear missiles, not disarming them. 007, you must find a way to disable that arsenal. Q charge online. Okay. So, Drake has been stockpiling the, the missiles instead of dismantling them, obviously. So we need to plant these charges on these missiles. Like so. Right, double seven. Now get out of there. Okay, we're gonna use this door to get out, or at least we're gonna try to. Uh I think I need to Well, they're gonna go off any second, so there we go. Excuse me, sirs. Whoop. Oop, back up. Trying. There we go. Okay. We're going to let this sub lead us right to the base instead of shooting it down. He's going to drop mines to try and shake us off, though. Hasn't shaken us yet. Careful, that eh! No! Welp. Stay close to him, James. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Have ugh. To infiltrate Drake's base, 007. Now we may never be able to stop him. Okay. <clears throat> Back to the sub chase. Okay. Ooh. Still following it. Gotta be careful here. Alright, so now we're in a position where I can destroy this sub because it led us right inside the base. Uh, there we go. Oh, yikes. Got more to deal with here before I can leave. Okay. So let's look behind us. It looks like there's another sensor door here that I need to use my remote torpedo for. There we go. And there's some armor in here, it looks like, which is very welcome. We can't allow Drake to keep nuclear subs. You must find a way to destroy them. Alright, more Q charges. We've got to plant these Q charges on these nuclear subs. Gotta find the mounting point for them. I don't quite remember where they were. Unless I'm not... Oh, well, here we go. Alright, there's one. Two more to go. 
Uh oh. James, that sub is blocking our access to the base. Well, we're not ready to leave yet, but two and three. Okay. Careful, double S7. That B12 language is very expensive. What do you mean not all objectives completed? Hull integrity critical. Okay, not good. Uh Okay, there we go. I don't know what happened, but we, we did it. <laughs> There's never valet parking when you need it most. All right, silver medal for that too. Well, I don't really care. Got the Vanquish subcard and an MP skin. All right, getting there. Island infiltration. Let's get right into it. Alright, another driving. Let's do it. We need to download defense system from the compound. Whoop. Put the car sideways. Whoop, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, there we go. Download code from compound. Uh, do I need to blow up this door? I don't remember. Hold on. I don't remember what's happening here. I think I'm missing something. Download code from compound. Oh, you know what? I think I went the wrong way. Here, let's restart. I think that might have something to do with it. Let's go this way this time. That compound should contain a transmission yep. dish with direct access to Drake's computer network. Okay, take it nice and slow. Hey, some armor. That's helpful. Okay. They don't suspect me yet, so I don't want to shoot at them. Here we go. Alright, I'm going to position myself to just go straight for... straight shot out of here. Downloading access code. Code downloaded. Okay, now I can leave. Still don't suspect me. Missiles, nice. Whoops. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> James, they're on us. Excuse me, car. Transmitting access code. Code accepted. Okay, so it accepted the code, but now there's sentry shooting at me. Oh, sentinels. I'm going to need to disable those. Oh, 
Oh, I did I miss that sentinel? Yeah, I think I did. Turn around. Ugh, I got rinsed. All because this missile missed. Alright, that's fine. Jeez, come on. Transmitting access code. Code. Okay, the Sentinel three. Gotta keep my eyes open. That's a big sentinel. Oh, you rotten. Oh, I thought I had it. Oh, for crying out loud. Transmitting access code. Transmitting. 
Requesting access code. Code accepted. Okay, that should make this a little simpler. There we go. I think I took down the Sentinels. Yep. That was a much smarter decision. Flyer. That bridge is Drake's primary access route across the island, level of seven. Bring it down. Okay, brought down the bridge. Oh, That's on. Drake's primary access route. Allure is flying, we're shooting. Boy, he's trucks are are relentless. What is still shooting me? Am I getting hit by that truck that far away? Well, it certainly looks like it. about to die. I don't know if there's any armor on this flight. Running out of rockets. Uh, okay. Plane over here. Okay, those are done. This one plane, though, which just destroyed itself, it looks like. Oh, hello.
And now that I'm out of rockets... Turn around. It's gonna kill me. Yep. That's that's awesome. Alright, objective complete. All the sentinels are down. Except for this giant one, it looks like. And it just nailed us. And we're manning the turret now, it looks like, while Allura does more work on it. Alright, I deserve that. I, for I was kind of playing with it too much. Okay, took out those planes. Ow. Those planes are down too. Right as I got the objective. This might take a few tries. Charges at the base of the weapon, but you'll only have a short time to get out before the whole thing blows. Okay, I have to protect Allura while she completes the mission.
Oof. All right, did it. All right. I don't really expect us to get any more gold medals from now until the end of the game. I really don't care. I'm not doing it for that anyway, but we did that mission. Got an ultra light reward card in an MP scenario. All right. Got a little more time here. Countdown. I didn't spot anything from the air that looked like a command center, James. Well, one thing we know about Drake, nothing's as it seems on the surface. Looks abandoned. All the more reason to investigate. No reception committee. The system's active. We need a comm link. See if you can patch in. Why do I have the feeling we're about to split up again? This shaft's drawing air. I'll have a good idea why. Inform MI6 of our location. I'll be in touch, Allura. Okay, we're splitting up with Allura to infiltrate Drake's facility undetected. Okay, I remember this now. I forgot about this, uh... Forgot that we get a mission with the... This, um... With this dark crossbow. I don't think I wanted to do that, by the way, but whatever. Okay. Do I have any other gun to use? I have this and it's got a silencer, okay. Bond may have penetrated our security. Lock down the sector at once and deactivate all access codes but my own. Right away, Mr. Ashi. I'm going to do a full sweep of this facility. Remain at your post and stay alert. Understood, Mr. Ashi. James, I've hacked into the terminal and got access to their internal systems. A lot of it has been locked out, but I can access the security cameras. Kiko is our only option. She's locked out all other clearances. You'll need to find her and stay close. Uh, don't do that. Jeez. Okay, so this is a camera view. Not all that helpful. Uh, laser system, right. Let's take out this safeguard here. Okay, the security laser system is offline. That should help. Nothing to see back here. Camera room. Another camera view. Camera system safeguard. This should take out the cameras, I believe. Security camera system offline. Yep, cameras are down. So they can't use the cameras to spy on me anymore. Uh, question is, which was the right way to go from here? I think I want to go through here first. Let's see. Ooh, some armor. Nice to have. Kiko is currently in corridor A8. What are you gonna do there, guy? I forgot that Kiko could run into me here. Well, what I really need to do is I think I need to run into her. I don't quite remember. And I actually don't think I'm supposed to be shooting these guys. Alright, there's A8. Alright, there's the Delta. Uh, wait a second. So, okay. Nope, that's right. Here's A8. Kiko is in corridor A12 now. We have an intruder. Oh. Ow! Guy, I just want to shoot you in the head. Thank you. 
Okay. Anything left in A8? Alright, I'm in A12 now. We're in the... We're going around in A12. Here's A16. Camera room in A15. Armor. And this is the alarm safeguard. Alright, very good. Now they absolutely cannot turn on the alarms. James, it looks like Kiko is nearly at the control center. Hurry up. Okay, she's at the control center, but let's take a quick break to decrypt this ammo room. Okay, I might need to come back here. I think there's some good stuff in here. Lots of guns. Beautiful. Alright, this is an Ames 20, I think. Yep, this is a weapon that has grenades and uh, bullets. That's going to come in handy. I don't need any armor right now, so I'm going to leave that alone. But I am going to need that grenade launcher. The launch timetable has been moved up. I'm placing the security system into full lockdown. Clear and seal the room. We cannot risk anyone tampering with the control settings. Okay, well, thank you for leaving me in here. I appreciate it. Uh, so, James, I'm going to sabotage the base. The base with pleasure. There should be a way to do that in the back of the room here, I think. Yep. Safeguard B. And there should be a safeguard over here. Okay, and then if I go up here... See, now that the safeguards are offline, I should be able to go through here and press this button. And there we go. I broke stuff. You'll need to get through that door to Delta Sector. Hurry, James. Okay, I gotta go back. I gotta backtrack my steps now to get to Delta Sector. Somehow he's worked his way into the complex. The elite guards will hold the line. I'm going below to cut the power so he can't follow. But if Bond does reach the facility, I'll be sure to thank him for the makeover he gave me. Well, it doesn't look like it looks like Rook didn't make it out of that helicopter unscathed. Alright, so Whoa, hey. I think I got more of these darts. What? Okay. Oh, I gotta get... Oof. Okay. That's fine. I deserve that. Two hours later. Alright, folks. I'm back. So... I've been recording for almost two straight hours. Uh, it will probably sadden you to know that I've had to... I have, I've had to uh, lower the difficulty level by one notch because this level is absurd. Uh, I've tried just about everything I can think of, but there are waves and waves of enemies that just keep just wrecking me at every turn, and even if I got past them, Rook would be even harder. So I'm just, I'm just changing the difficulty just to agent level just for this mission, just so I can get past it. All right, planted some laser mine, laser trip mines in here. Hopefully, these guys will trip them. Well, yeah, they walked right right under one of them because it's because some of these laser mines get set incorrectly. Okay, they knocked out one of them. Gear back up in here. Uh, 
Okay, that was probably a poor decision. Ouch. See, this is what I'm... Ugh. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Grab these guns. I'm gonna get the the health that's back here, or the armor. <sighs> All right. Here's the corridor. I can't seem to get past. Much easier. There's only three guards this time. Four, rather. And then there's this one that somehow got behind me. Alright, get in there. We're gonna run into Rook in a second. Where... Alright, there's the entrance to Delta Sector. Ugh, reload! Where'd you go? So Delta Sector's where I need to be. Not all objectives completed. I don't know what objective I'm missing. Oh, there's Rook. Where is he? He's got this Phoenix rifle, so I need to knock him out. I think I just did. Nope. He's... Will you die, please? There. Jeez. All right, I got the Phoenix Samurai. Now I can go through Delta Sector. I can't imagine how difficult that would have been if I had gotten through that on Double O Agent. Ugh, all right. Gotta get to the Omega Sector. We've got the Phoenix Samurai now. We get to play with this with the Samurai. The Samurai's kind of fun. Oh, this is a mess. This is a mess already. Yep, here we go. I don't know how I'm getting hit with a grenade through walls. That's just a quirk of this game that's really starting to irk me. I think I want to go through there. Alright, I just gotta remember how this part works. So that's the door I came out of. That door's welded shut. I have to go through here. And there's a trip mine here. Can't you shoot it? It'll kill me. Because of course it will. Alright, I thought I cleared it, but whatever. Let's decrypt this door. Okay, not supposed to be in here, I guess, but we got some armor. Gotta go this way. I don't know why I got hurt from that from here.
Man, those explosions are way too big for their own good. See, that's ridiculous. That shouldn't hurt as much as it does. Keep moving. Go, go, go. Oh, yikes. I don't see I don't understand how that explosion hurt me. Right, I'm going to have to duck under this one. There we go. Awesome. I think this is just a stockpile room. Yep. I know you're there.
What? That is absurd. What? What? Ugh. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. health. Alright, I think there's someone here.
All right, here's the door to Omega Sector. Whoop, what the heck? Hang on, something's a little off here. All right, there we go. All right, we have to prevent Kiko from launching into space. My loyal associates, before we cross into the void of space, it's time to unveil the final stages of Operation Fire. The other transformation of the planet you'll soon view from your hands. The coming to socialists and fascists were predestined to fail in their efforts at globalization. The answer is the time simple, a corporate takeover by Phoenix International. Worldwide scale. No more national boundaries, but continent-wide regions of agriculture, industry, energy production, and research. Quarreling governments are replaced with a single board of directors. Of course, a new order will be but we have the ultimate leverage. Nuclear missiles mounted in our hydro grottos and the control of this unstable country center. It's not hard to hit a moving target with this, or not easy to hit a moving target with this thing. My loyal associates, before we cross into the void of space, it's time to <sighs> unveil the final stages of Operation Nightfire. The utter transformation of the planet you'll soon view from your shuttle windows. The communists, socialists, and fascists were predestined to fail in their efforts at globalization. The answer to the blind mission vote a corporate takeover by Phoenix International. Worldwide scale. Whoops. No more national boundaries, but countless wide regions of agriculture, industry, energy production, and research. Quarreling governments are replaced with a single board of directors. Of course, a new order will be resisted, but we have the ultimate leverage. The nuclear missiles mounted in our island grotto and controlled from an unassailable command center, the U.S. Space Defense Platform. Unfortunately, our security has been temporarily breached. Therefore, I've advanced our launch schedule. All flight crews and combat units are to board their shuttles at once and prepare for liftoff. Operation Nightfire has begun. Okay, some armor. Thought the, for sure there was something particular in this room that I needed. Eh, maybe not. Guess I'm just remembering this wrong. Uh, okay. I need to get through this door. question was how. This is the door I came in. Alright, think. Must be a computer or something around here. No. Alright. Must be something in this room I need. Uh, what am I missing? Reach Drake's launch silo. I don't think I need to blow the door up. Ah, there we go. It wasn't glowing, so I couldn't tell. Could you guys stop spawning in the door? I, I don't appreciate that at all. This, this must be the wrong door. That must be the wrong door. No, it, it can't be. Isn't this the one that I... Oh my lord. What? What is happening with this game? All right, you know what? I don't even care where you are. I'm just going through the door. All right. That was the weirdest thing I've seen all day, but whatever. Door 
Door unlocked. So Kiko thinks she's clever. She locked me into the silo with the launching missile. Believe these doors will auto shut as long as I'm in a silo here. Here we go. Go away, please! Uh, okay. I don't know how many times you can shoot a guy in the face before he just finally decides to die. My loyal associates. Oh, I'm crying out loud. Alright, this is gonna take me a minute. Come back later. The final stages of Operation Nightfire. The utter transformation of the planet you'll soon view from your shuttle windows. The communist, socialist, and fascists were progressing to fail in their efforts at globalization. And it is so unreasonable. A corporate takeover by Phoenix International on a worldwide scale. No more national boundaries, but constant organization of agriculture, industry, energy production, and the Foreign governments are replaced with a single board of directors. Of course, a new order will be resisted. But we have the ultimate leverage. The nuclear missiles mounted in our island grottoes and controlled from the the U.S. space defense platform. Unfortunately, our security has been temporarily breached. Therefore, I've advanced our launch schedule. All flight crews and combat units are to board their shuttles at once and prepare for liftoff. Operation Nightfire has begun. Hey Kiko, gonna let me in there? How does it feel to be beaten, James? Oh, you haven't beat me yet, sweetheart. Not gonna come out, huh? Okay, well. going to happen two more times as two more uh, rockets lift off.
Oh, what's going on, Kiko? Oh, I think you're smug, aren't we? Take that. <laughs> Yeah. Just realized it, didn't you? My lord, that took way longer than it was supposed to. I don't even care that we got a bronze medal. I'm so tired. All right. This has already gone long enough. I'm going to switch the difficulty back to double O agent. And let's see if we can take on Equinox with uh, no broken bones. James, I'm still patched into Drake's comm system. I've intercepted enough radio chatter to learn that Drake's combat troops have overtaken the defense platform. Some of the original crew might still be alive, but I can't confirm that. I can tell you that Drake's deployed a laser defense net, which draws power from the platform's core. Rather enjoyed your company, James. Do be careful. A call out. All right, let's defeat Drake before the base goes Bottom critical. Errand, Mr. Bond. I've just locked the launch sequence. Nothing can stop Operation Nightfire. Not even my own death. That's a theory I mean to test. <laughs> You've already failed miserably. But tinker with my missile if you must. Make a splendid target for my laser cannons. James, the missiles. You won't be able to disarm the warheads in time. Your only hope is to sabotage the launch system in some way. You'll have to disable them manually. Each launch gantry has a weak coupling that you can melt with your laser. All right, so there are several Nightfire missiles on this platform. We're in space now. We're going to have to manually disable them. There are NATO launch sites on Earth which could challenge the arsenal on my island. Those bases will be incinerated by turning these defensive missiles into massively offensive ones. I've kept my most hardened combat veterans on reserve, Bond. Okay, here comes one that's getting staged. Remember that view, Mr. Bond. It's the last you'll ever see of Earth. James, the missile launch couplings are exposed. All right, that's one missile. One's primed. That's two missiles. Yikes, what the heck? Alright, three missiles down. being staged. Okay, four. That's five. Five missiles are completely off course. They're going to launch, but nothing will happen. Last three missiles. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm, I'm hurting. Yeah, 
Yeah, these guys. Ugh, okay, there we go. Whoops. Shoot. Nope. All right. Gonna have to try that again. It's a little trickier than it seems getting shot at and trying to shoot these, uh, destroy these missile things at the same time. Okay, that's one. Ow! What did I get hit by? Two missiles. Okay, I think I'm gonna go attack this one that's way over here. I think that's the best choice I have. Come on. Okay. Come on, can't make this move any faster. Okay, just gotta get this last missile. Alright, all the missiles are dead. Well, they're not dead, but they're all gonna fire off course. Yeah, that's what they all say, Drake. The missiles are damaging the station. It's starting to break up. James, you must hurry. The laser has gone into overload, James. Drake's lost control of it. It could blow any second. Damn. All right, Drake. Oof. Wow, really? That was it too, right? That was I'm pretty sure that was the final shot. I saw him keel over. Oh, that's so upsetting. Persistence, Mr. Bond. Persistence and failure. There are NATO launch sites on Earth which could challenge the arsenal on my island. Those bases will be incinerated by turning these defensive missiles into massively offensive ones. I've kept my most hardened combat veterans on reserve, Bond. Ow. 
All right. All the missiles are gone. I'm gonna try and do an overcharge on Drake this time. It might, it probably won't work, but it'll be fun to see if it does. You may have stopped the fire this time, Bond. I'll rise from the ashes. The missiles are damaging the station. It's starting to break up. James, you must hurry. The laser has gone into overload, James. Drake's lost control of it. It could blow any second. Yikes, that even hurts me. Oh wow, it did! It got him! One shot was all it took on overcharge. That's amazing. <laughs> we did it! That's Nightfire. Shaken, not stirred. Or is it stirred, not shaken? Hmm. Definitely stirred. Astronomers from around the globe are reporting unexpected meteor showers. Well done, 007. Then I'm sure the world won't mind my taking a few days off. We'll let the autopilot be our designated driver. Oh, James. And that's about it. Silver medal. I don't care. I'll take it. That's the game, folks. Wow, we did it. I've been recording for almost two for two and a half hours on this session. There's a lot that I'm going to cut out, so I'm... Oh, God, I'm so tired. MP Scenario Goldeneye Strike. Wow, all right. Little bonus video for completing the game. Working for over 20 months, the team at EA Games developed James Bond 007 Nightfire. This is back when EA was still a respectable company. States, England, and Canada. Programmers, writers, artists, designers, and animators collaborated to create an unparalleled James Bond experience. Adding to the fantasy, Agent 007 looks and feels just like the film star himself, Pierce Brosnan. Thanks in part to a laser scanning process that captured the features of his face using over a quarter of a million data points, Brosnan's persona as 007 brings the Bond film star into the hands of game players. When you see Pierce Brosnan in the game, you see Pierce Brosnan. He's the epitome of James Bond, debonair, suave, charismatic, uh, came out great. And I think he brings a certain authenticity and, and personality to the character just like he does in the film. So when you see him wink or raise his eyebrow, um, you've definitely seen the real McCoy. Fast cars are another part of the James Bond equation. The Aston Martin V12 Vanquish. The Vanquish, also featured in this year's Bond film, Die Another Day, sports a six liter V12 engine with a Formula One style transmission. It can go from zero to 60 in under five seconds and reach speeds in excess of 190 miles per hour. Zero to 60 in five to seconds, that's insane. The, game, the design team at EA worked with Aston Martin to capture all of the exact specs and performance attributes of the car, then created a 3D mesh in the digital realm. From fast cars to beautiful women and exotic locations, James Bond 007 Nightfire is packed with all the elements that make it classic James Bond, allowing the player to live out the fantasy of the world's best secret agent. And boy, did we.
Well, that's it. I'm, uh... A little uncertain what to say at this point now that this is done. Normally I would have a lot more to say, but it's late at night. And this took way too long to finish. And I'm really tired. But this was, uh... This was such a fun game back in the day. And uh, if you haven't ever played it, make sure you, uh... Find a copy and give it a try for yourself. It, uh, it still holds up. It's a solid James Bond game. Trying to collect some of my thoughts here. I know uh, credits aren't always the most interesting thing you can look at, but uh, I, I, the reason I do this is because I just want to give honor to the people that made the game. They put uh, put their heart and soul into uh, making this project, so I honor them by letting these play out. And at this point, you also might be wondering what's next for me. Well, uh, so much more. There's a lot that I have planned for uh, this channel here, uh, as well as myself at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. You will, uh, hopefully, you'll like what I'm, what I'm planning on doing.
<clears throat> Lots of people on the special thanks list. All right, I think that's going to do it. Like Once more, thank you for joining me on this journey. James Bond will return. I think, uh, I'm trying to remember, I think Everything or Nothing was the game that came after this one, which I don't know if I ever played. I'll consider doing that one. I don't know if I want to do very many blind games on GSL. But thank you for joining me for this adventure. It was a great time. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a play for yourself. And, uh... That's about it for me. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And, of course, check me out at twitch.tv slash chaoscontrolchannel. That's it for me, folks. I've been CDROM 1019. You've been you, and you've been fantastic. See you for the next adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs>